Greetings demons and welcome to a Fortnite discussion video, but unlike my normal discussion videos, this one is very much based in an idea of what could be, and not in the sense of, oh this thing is being leaked or, you know, oh what's going to be the end of season, you know, event. Instead we're going to be talking about what my ideal locker bundle would be. And for those of you who haven't been playing recently or just haven't really noticed the item shop, we've had, for a few months now, every once in a while I've been getting creator locker bundles. Now these are sets of various items, usually a skin, a glider, a pickaxe, and a emote or wrap, and they will be placed into the shop as a bundle representing various creators. Now the creators themselves actually pick the items, and as far as we're aware, as long as it's an item shop item, there is literally no item that is off the books. So anything's available, no matter how rare, no matter how common, if it's in the item shop or has ever been in the item shop, it is available. This presumably doesn't include the odd few that are never supposed to be coming back. So Paradigm and World Warrior, characters like that, skins like that, have been pretty adamantly said to never come back. And I'm sure that licensed items like the Marvel stuff will also not be available for this, just due to licensing. But, I think I have found my ideal four items to be put into a locker bundle if, for whatever reason, I was ever to have one. So, first off, I just want to mention there are some obvious picks that I didn't go for. Obviously, I'm a huge fan of the skins Beast Mode and Twisty. I've made my love for them very clear and you know, they're not that common skins, so it would be interesting to see them. I'm not going for those purely because I don't really think they represent me too much. Now, I do love the skins, they're great, but, you know, they're just not quite there for me. Another one that would seem obvious, but I'm not going to be using, is Venom. Now, obviously, as I said, I don't believe that licensed skins are allowed, and with Venom being a Marvel skin... It makes it unlikely that I'd be allowed, never mind that I actually would choose him. Though I do love the Venom skin, I love Venom as a character, I've made that very clear. I just... I think it's safer just to avoid licensed skins altogether. And then the final one that I didn't go for in terms of skins that seems like an obvious pick is Kitbash. Now, I've made it very clear that Kitbash is a skin that I want to come back more than anything, to the extent where, honestly, I would probably, if given the chance, bring back Hitbash just so I could have him. But I think it's a bit disingenuous to go for items that I do not personally own, when it is supposed to be a locker bundle, you know, it's supposed to be a representation of my locker, my loadout. So, I went with skins and items that I actually own, not ones that I just want. Because, you know, I would ask for Kitbash. That is my honest thing. I want Kitbash to come back very badly. So, I'm going to avoid saying Kitbash for this. Realistically, I probably would say Kitbash because I want him. But I'm going to stick to things that I actually own. So, that basically leaves one pretty obvious choice. And that is Bunny Brawler. Now, Bunny Brawler has been my main skin for a very long time, even down to the fact that the character model in Save the World, at the very least, is actually called Luna, which is a weird, ironic twist on the fact that I was using the skin before it was available in Save the World, where it got named as Luna. I really love this skin. Obviously, with my channel being Rabbit with Axe, it is very much based on using the skin of Bunny Brawler, that is the rabbit from my name. Obviously the axe part comes from um, Gilded Glow, which is a fable pickaxe that I can't actually use because it's a battle pass item, but digressing, Bunny Brawler has to be my choice. Now, I definitely lean more towards the dark style, but obviously you get both either way, so it doesn't really matter. Also, you're not able to customise back blings or anything, so I am stuck with the egg, which I don't even remember the name of it, but hey well, it's not something that I use, but it's part of the skin, I accept it, it's there. The egg is not something that I actually care at all about. I think it would be pretty dumb, 
for me to just not have Bunny Brawler. And yeah, that's basically why I would have her. So yeah, moving on, we have the Glider. Now, there are only realistically two options that I could ever go for, and that is, of course, Royal Dragon, or Royal Dragon, and Laser Chomps. Now, as for Royal Dragon, once again, it goes back to the idea that I do not have that glider. It's one that I really want, and I honestly would probably bring it back if I had the chance, but I don't own it, so I can't put it into this pack due to my own rules. So that does mean Laser Chomp. Now, Laser Chomp has been my main go-to glider pretty much since the first time it came out. It's my favourite glider in the game. It's a reference to a phenomenal film and a phenomenal character in the form of Doctor Evil from Austin Powers. And honestly, I can't think of a better fit for a locker bundle to represent me. It is my most used glider, bar maybe the one-shot umbrella, and even that is just because it's very small and it's an umbrella. You know, umbrellas are going to be used more than most gliders anyway. I just think that Laser Chomps is a great glider altogether. The price is decent, although with a bundle it does get cheaper anyway, so it wouldn't really matter. And honestly, just the little things like the laser pointer having an animation to it, the swimming animation of the shark, the fact that it looks nothing like the sharks we now have in-game, it just adds to it being a really, really cool glider that I would be amiss if I didn't put it into my locker bundle. So, moving on to the harvesting tool, I really don't have that many options in terms of pickaxes that I actually enjoy using. I did honestly create this entire concept before they released the newest axe, which is more of a fire axe design. That could potentially be in this locker bundle, though it's too new, it's not got the same history with me. And obviously I can't go with my actual favourite pickaxe being Gilded Glow, purely because it's a Battle Pass item. Which only really left two potential harvesting tools that I could go for. That being the shovel, which I always forget the name of, but it's on screen, you can see it. Which is a pickaxe that I've had since the first time it came out, since it was new. I really like that pickaxe, it is a very good one. But it's not really representative of the Rabbit with Axe branding, you know what I mean? So what I went with instead was another pickaxe I actually got when it was new, Av Axe. Now, this is a really weird axe in a lot of ways because it's not really an axe, it's a signpost that's been cut into shape, and it's one of my favourite harvesting tools. I've used it for a very long time as part of various setups, it's my go-to if I ever want to create something ready for Kit Bash because it's essentially scrap. And honestly, it's one of the best axe designs from the entire game, in my opinion. It works really well for the Rabbit of Axe branding, and I just like the sound of it, and I like the look of it. It just says Sunny Avenue, and that's good enough for me. So finally we get on to the fourth item which is typically either a wrap or an emote. I know some packs have had both but I'm just going to stick to using one and I've gone with an emote and that emote is take 14. So as many of you are probably somewhat aware I'm a film student. I'm currently a journalism student but I have already got a degree in film studies. I'm a filmmaker, I've made a few short films, and generally the fact that I make so much in terms of just video content, whether that be gameplay or actual video stuff with me on camera, or any number of other things, I think Take 14 is just kind of the perfect emote for me. There are plenty of other emotes that I could go for. I really like the Crab Rave emote, but once again that falls into a weird thing of is it licensed? Is it not? It's a difficult thing to deal with, and there are other emotes that probably suit me better, but I think that Take 14 is just kind of the perfect one to just encompass my entire personality. I love my films, I love making films, I love recording things, and 
genuinely, it's just something that represents me very well. It doesn't fit with the branding all that well, I will admit, but it's very much just something that I enjoy. It's always been in my emo wheel since I've had it, and genuinely, it's one of my favourites. So that is why I went with Take 14 as my emote, as my fourth item. So there we have it. That's my locker bundle, the Rabbit with Axe locker bundle. Now, I have kind of changed this since I first created it, and I may come back to this concept later, but honestly, I'm pretty happy with this, and I probably would if it wasn't for the fact that Kit Bash and Royale Dragon haven't come back in so long. I would probably go with this as my locker bundle choice, but genuinely, that is going to be the end of this video, so thanks for watching. Tell me if you liked it in the comments below, as well as what your locker bundle would be. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new around here, ring that bell to get notifications on all my uploads, and uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Bye! Luna Rainbow Flag, Happy Pride, Rabbit with Facts, Streamer Let's Play, Date Them Out Like Dinosaurs, FNAFN, Troll, Not the Leader of a Cult, Rabbit with Facts, It's Luna.